Today, we witness the most evil and heinous abuse of power in the history of our country. Very sad thing to watch. A corrupt sitting president had his top political opponent arrested on fake and fabricated charges of which he and numerous other presidents would be guilty. Right in the middle of a presidential election in which he is losing very badly. This is called election interference and yet another attempt to rig and steal a presidential election. More importantly, it's a political persecution like something straight out of a fascist or a communist nation. This day will go down in infamy, and Joe Biden will forever be remembered as not only the most corrupt president in the history of our country, but perhaps even more importantly, the president who, together with a band of his closest thugs, misfits, and Marxists, tried to destroy American democracy. Whatever documents the president decides to take with him, he has the right to do so. It's an absolute right. This is the law. And that is something that people have now seen, and it couldn't be more clear. They ought to drop this case. I hadn't had a chance to go through all the boxes. It's a long, tedious job. It takes a long time, which I was prepared to do, but I have a very busy life. I've had a very busy life. They make it more busy because you're always fighting. The prosecutor in the case, I will call it our case, is a thug. I've named him Deranged Jack Smith. I wonder what his name used to be, Jack Smith. It sounds so innocent, doesn't it? Jack Smith. What's his name? Jack Smith. He's a very nice man.